like to share two thoughts this morning about these passages that we've read and thinking about the reference to Isaiah as well as what is in Luke. The first is regarding preparing the way. Isaiah says, a voice cries out saying, make straight highway for our God. Luke talks about making the crooked straight, lifting up the valleys, making low the mountains, leveling out the uneven ground, smoothing out the rough places. Sometimes we tend to go right to the physical when we think about these things, the world around us, the mountains certainly, and valleys, and rough places. <laughs> But I think there's also for a place for here to consider the internal, what goes on with each of us. We've all got crooked places in our hearts and minds and souls, valleys and mountains, ups and downs, uneven and rough places that need to be straightened and leveled and smoothed out. I think one of the important messages of Advent is that God is still working on us, preparing us to be a better place for Christ to come and dwell and work in and with and through us. Advent is a time of coming, a time when we await once again that celebration of the coming of Christ, but a time when we also, as we talked about last week, await the return of Christ in the future. And in the meantime, we pray that God will work on us, leveling things out inside, making the crooked straight, smoothing over those rough places. That's part of our journey. The second observation that I want to make is that I find an interesting distinction that I never found before when I was studying for this. And that's one of the great joys of preparing for sermons is that I find things in the Bible I, I never noticed before. Listen to this from Luke, also the passage from Isaiah. It says, The voice of one crying in the wilderness, prepare the way of the Lord. Now listen to the first chapter of Luke. We call it the Benedictus. And you, child, will be called the prophet of the Most High. For you will go before the Lord to prepare his ways, plural, <clears throat> ways. I find that fascinating. I never noticed that before. The passage from Isaiah and the third chapter of Luke is, we think, you know, is referring to John the Baptist, of course. But in this Benedictus, which is, is, the, um, is the song that Zechariah sings, thanking the Lord for the blessing of his son John, John the Baptist. He says the, his ways, his ways, the way of the Lord or the ways of the Lord. Is there only one way or is there more than one way? In the Didache, which is, that's the Greek word for teaching, uh, the Didache was entitled or subtitled The Teaching of the Twelve Apostles. And it dates from uh, about 120 A.D. to 180 A.D. They're not really sure. They originally put an earlier date on it, and then after studying it longer, they decided maybe a little later date. But this is a collection of ethical instructions for the early church. And it says this. There are two ways, one of life and one of death. And great is the difference between the two ways. So, on one level, there is only one way, and Jesus is the way. On another level, though, there are a number of ways to Jesus, and a number of ways that Jesus works in this world. Look at us. We've come to know Jesus in many different ways, through many different life experiences, through many different people who have witnessed to us of God's love. So there seems to be many different paths to come to Christ. And Jesus 
seems to operate in many different ways in this world, through the witness and testimony of quite a variety of people in an almost endless number of settings or circumstances. The Holy Spirit, after all, blows where the Spirit will, and we cannot control how God works or through whom God works. There are truly many different ways. And yet, there is only one way, and that way is Jesus. Confused? Jesus says, I am the way and the truth and the life, and no one comes to the Father except through me. I believe that. But I also believe that there are many different ways of coming to Jesus, who is the way. And those many ways cannot all be known by us. People say to me, what about this person? What about this group of people? What about uh, people who believe differently than us? They are known these many different ways by God alone. And I believe that God constantly works in wonderful and mysterious ways. So, I refuse to pretend that I have all the answers, because I don't. I refuse to pretend that I can dictate to God how anyone can come to Christ. How anyone can come to God. I can only say with certainty that there is one way, Jesus is the way, but I also believe that there are many ways to come to God through Christ, and many ways that God works through those who follow him. So, during this Advent season, let us prepare our hearts and minds to welcome and follow the one who is the way in whatever ways he chooses for us. Thanks be to God that we follow the one who is the way and the ways. Let us pray.